Welcome Excel enthusiasts to a game changing journey in the world of spreadsheet mastery. So in today's video, we're diving deep into the realm of Microsoft Excel on with Powerful LA, which is Copilot Pro. So if you ever found yourself wrestling with complex formulas or grappling with data analysis or simply yearning for a more efficient workflow, then you are in a treat in this video. So a Copilot Pro is not just a tool, it's a companion that elevates your Excel experience to exceptional heights. So throughout this video, uh, we'll unravel the key features of Copilot Pro like everything you can do if you have Copilot Pro integrated into your Microsoft Excel. So yeah, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. All right, so first of all, uh, once again, you need to make sure that you have the subscription of Microsoft 365 and Copilot Pro with you. So if you don't know how to do that, so you can go ahead and check out my video where I have shown you how you can set up Copilot Pro in your Microsoft 365 apps in just a few minutes, okay? All right, so if you are all set up, then you need to go to this website, microsoft365.com. And here uh, at the left bar, you can see we have options of uh, create my content apps, Word, Excel, okay? So in this video, uh, we are specifically going to see how you can use Microsoft Copilot Pro in Excel. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and open Excel now. All right, so I'm just going to create a blank workbook. All right, so this is our home page of Microsoft Excel. And this is a typical uh, Microsoft Excel in Microsoft 365. But now what the cool feature is, just beside the add-ons, we can see an option of Copilot. Okay, and if you can go ahead and open this. So now... We have a Copilot chat integrated right inside of our Microsoft Excel. So yeah, we have a similar options like in Microsoft Word, which is selection option to learn how I can work with your data in Excel tables to add formula columns, highlight sorts. So it's basically uh, not allowing you to click any of that because we don't have any data inside of this Microsoft Excel. Okay, so no worries at all because now Copilot Pro can gives you the access to start with an Excel table. So you need an Excel table initially to continue. If you want to see an example, I have one ready for you. So this is really, really amazing, okay? So let's try an example from uh, Copilot Pro itself in Microsoft Excel. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit on try an example. All right, so it's working on it. All right, so here you go, guys. It has basically provided me the example of some campaign, uh, campaign name, they launched it, campaign type, budget, revenue, total user targeted, engage users, okay? So this is kind of a, you know, campaign uh, data. So we have all the names, then we have launch dates, campaign types, budgets, revenues, total user targeted, and engaged users right over here, all right? All right, so now if I can go ahead and click all this. So now as you guys can see, we do have all the options enabled with us now. So if you wanna go ahead and play with this campaign owner now, you can go ahead and do that. So which means any data that you will select, this Copilot Pro chat is gonna work on that specific data, okay? So if you wanna go ahead and just play with this data, so you can do that. But now for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and select all of that. And now we can go ahead and add formula columns. We can go ahead and highlight something, sort and filter, analyze. So let's just go ahead and see these options now. So let's just say if you want to add a formula column, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and click that. Okay, so you say I can quickly add new columns with formulas. So just a prompt or describe what columns you'd like to add, okay? So let's just say, I take this example, add a column to compare budget and revenue, okay? I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. So it's generating formula column suggestions right away. All right, so here you go. It basically created the formula for me and you can go ahead and hit on explain formula. So we'll explain the formula to you right away. And not only that, you can click on insert column and this will go ahead and add column to your data right away, which is budget versus revenue. So we'll show you whether it is over budget, whether it is under budget. So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and select add formula columns from this option right away, okay? Then you can go ahead and hit highlight. So again, I have to go ahead and select all of this. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and hit highlight. Okay, so I say need to highlight portions of data. You can say I can, I want to highlight the highest values in total users targeted, okay? So in this, we want to highlight uh, the highest values, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. All right, and here you go. Now our highest total user targeted, uh, you know, the highest data has been highlighted, okay? So then we have sort and filter, so you can go ahead and play with the sort and filter option right over here. So let's just say I want to uh, show items with campaign owner of Halima and Yakubu, okay? So let's just see how it's gonna sort and filter this one. All right, so it has basically only filtered the Halima and Yakubu and all of their data, okay? 
And you know, the last of our quick feature is analyze. So you can go ahead and now analyze the data as well as to say, I want to uh, sort campaign table by total user targeted in the ascending order. So let's just say how it's going to analyze this all. Okay, so it has basically analyze the total user targeted by campaign type. And if we want, we can go ahead and add this analyze data to a whole new sheet right away. Okay, if you go ahead and click on add all insights to grid. So yeah, we'll say done. Add, I added all insights from table one to a new sheet. So in the new sheet, you can see we have all the cool insights or you can say tables through which you can analyze your this data. Okay, so we have revenue by launch date, which is this table. Then we have this chart. Uh, then we have this budget table. Then we have this one. So yeah, these are really, really cool and amazing dashboard charts. You can see that you can create out of Microsoft Copilot Pro in Excel. All right, so now let's just jump to the main part. Like what are the main things or the main features you can do while using Copilot Pro in Microsoft Excel, right? Okay, so first of all, you can go ahead and use Copilot Pro in Microsoft Excel for formula generation, okay? So what that means, uh, you can go ahead and select a data and if you are having any problems, so you can provide prompts to Copilot Pro and by using that prompt and using that data, it will generate a formula for you and you can go ahead and integrate that, like make a new table, integrate that to a separate sheet or whatever you want. So let's just go ahead and see the example for that. So for the formula creation or formula generation, let's just say if I want to know about return on investment in this particular data. So how can I do that? So I'm just going to go ahead and type in my prompt here that how do you calculate the ROI, which stands for return on its investment for each campaign? This would involve a formula that takes into account the revenue generated versus the budget spent. Okay, so let's just say whether it will create the return on in investment for this data for me. Okay, so it's generating formula column suggestions. Let's just see that. All right, so here you go, folks. We have the ROI formula with us. And if you want, you can go ahead and hit on explain. So this will explain the formula for you. And then you can go ahead and insert that into a separate column, okay? So here you go, that is beautiful. So now we have the ROI for every data in this table, okay? So now let's just go ahead and move to our second feature, which is data analysis and summarization. So if you want to go ahead and do data analysis and summarization, you can very easily do that uh, by using Copilot Pro and Microsoft Excel. So let's just see the examples for that now. Uh, so for the first example, let's just say if you want to do like revenue generation analysis. So for that, for the first one, let's just say I type here that how does a revenue correlate with the budget allocated for each campaign? So that's a tricky question. Let's just see how it's going to perform this for our data. Okay, so it's saying the chart may include some of the information you're looking for. If it doesn't show everything, let's try another prompt. So field budget appears highly determined by fee to the user targeted. Let's just see that in our new sheet. Okay, so it's inserting content. So take a look at this, okay? So now we have a field, uh, so which shows we have uh, the revenue which correlate with the budget allocated for each campaign right over here, okay? So now let's just go ahead and see a simple example and type in my prompt like, which campaign generated the highest revenue? Okay, let's just analyze this data and see whether it will tell us or not. Okay, so it's saying top campaign by revenue campaign name is Feb Email West and sum of revenue is gonna be this, okay? So with that, it's gonna go ahead and, you know, give us the perfect output for the highest revenue of the campaign, okay? All right, so let's just say if you want to do some user engagement analysis, so for that, for the first from I type here, which campaign achieved the highest number of engaged users? And for that, let's just go ahead and see the output now. Okay, so I think the pivot table may include some of the information. It doesn't show everything. So the campaign name by engaged users is productivity review 3x and some engaged user is going to be this, okay? And if you want, you can go ahead and add that to new sheet if you are interested, okay? So let's just go ahead and see some target audience streets. So for that, I'm going to type in a prompt like, which campaign had the highest reach in terms of the total users targeted, okay? All right, so top campaign name by total user target is gonna be product mention 5X, as you guys can see over here, which was this. And you know, the grand total is gonna be 55,000, okay? So this is how you can go as and analyze like thousands of data or very little data as per just the way you want it uh, with this amazing feature of data analyzation in Microsoft Copilot Pro, okay? All right, so for the third feature, let's just say if you are interested in a visualization creation charts. So for that, Copilot Pro can be a really good fit for you. So for the first example, let's just say if you want to create charts uh, 
with the revenue versus budget analysis. So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my front, like how does the revenue compare to the budget for each campaign, okay? So let's just see the output, like whether it will create the chart for that or not. Okay, seems like it didn't create a chart for me. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and edit my prompt to more effective one. So I'll be saying a bar chart showing budget and revenue side by side for each campaign would be effective, okay? So let's just see now whether it will create a chart for me for revenue compared to budget. All right, so now here you go, guys. So if I can go ahead and add this to new sheet. So now we have a revenue and budget by campaign. So we have billboards large, Five mil large, five mil west, late gen email, product review, and now we have a perfect chart for revenue versus budget analysis. Okay. Okay. So next one, let's just say if you want to just like see some performance, like performance chart of uh, some data. So how you can do that? So for that, I'm just gonna go ahead and type in my prompt, which is gonna be which campaign type, digital marketing or anything generated the most revenue. A pie chart or a group bar chart would be used to compare that total revenue. Okay. So if you want to create charts. So you should always mention that in your prompts, okay? Just to be more and more precise. So let's just see the output for this now. Okay, so it's working on it, analyzing our data. All right, so here you go, guys. So now we have top campaign type of revenue, which is digital marketing. And as you guys can see, it's showing uh, the digital marketing has highest performance among all the campaigns, okay? All right, so let's just say if I want to create some kind of a campaigns owner success rate chart, so for that, I'm gonna type in our front, like which campaign owner had the most successful campaigns in terms of revenue or engagement? A series of bar chart for each owner showing the campaign revenue engagement rates. Okay, so let's just see the output for this now. All right, so here you go, guys. So now it's created a pivot chart for me for revenue and engage users by campaign owner for campaign owner, which had the highest revenue. So here we go, Halima Yakubu has the highest revenue like in thousands, okay? So yeah, this is how you can go ahead and create pivot charts or any charts uh, with your data by using Microsoft Copilot Pro, okay? Okay, so now the last feature that we have is of data exploration and insights. So if you are into data exploration and insights in your data, so you can go ahead and do that very easily with Copilot Pro and Microsoft Excel. So let's just see the examples for that. So let's just say if you want to do budget utilization with this data, Data. So for that, I'm gonna type in my prompt, how does the budget correlate with the revenue generated across different campaigns? So let's just say uh, what output is gonna provide me for that. All right, so it's saying, you know, the budget appears highly determined by fields of total user target is gonna be this. So for that, it provided us a chart, okay? All right, let's just say if you uh, want to do some time analysis, so I provide, is there a trend or pattern campaign success relative to their launch date? So let's just see the output for this time analysis now. All right, so I say the upper chart may include some of the information you're looking for. So budget has outliers at launch date 26 January 29. So for that, it provided me a perfect pivot chart through which I can go ahead and analyze or see the data very, very clearly, okay? So these were a few of the features that you can do with, uh, you know, like playing with your data. You can do lots of things. You can edit that. You can go ahead and change that. You can run formulas, like everything you do. So, all right, guys. So now let's just go ahead and test out this Copilot Pro with some advanced Excel skills. Let's just take some of the Excel skills that can be really good for your resume and just test out whether Copilot Pro will help us do that task for us or not. So let's just say if you are into statistical modeling, forecasting and prediction, pivot tables, like model, historic stock trends, or any of these advanced Excel skills. So now Copilot Pro can really help you in those all cases as well. All right, so let's just say I take this uh, data with me once again. And for the first advanced Excel skill, let's just say I want to do statistical modeling, okay? Uh, so basically statistical modeling is a simplified, mathematically formalized method for approximating a reality, okay? So you know, it basically what generates your data and optionally making prediction based on the approximation. So now, uh, with the help of Excel, basically provides a specialized toolkit enabling you to perform statistical modeling inside the popular spreadsheet program, okay? And now with the help of Copilot Pro, you can ace it with the help of this amazing AI tool, okay? All right, so for the first example, let's just say I take this data and I provide in my prompt to Copilot Pro that develop a linear regression model to analyze the relationship between the budget of marketing campaigns. So, you know, the budget of marketing campaigns is gonna be this, it's gonna compare that and the revenue generated, okay? So it's gonna compare the budget and the revenue and provide a linear regression between both of these two data. okay? So use the campaign type as a categorical variable and examine 
how it influences uh, the relationship between budget and revenue okay so this is our prompt i'm gonna go ahead and select all this again and just go ahead and type in my prompt here all right so it's working on it it's understanding our data so it will take a bit of time okay so here you go so we have budget and revenue by campaign type and campaign owner so we have a linear regression model with this now. So if I can go ahead and add this to a new sheet just to observe it more uh, closely. So check this out. Now it's, this is a beautiful uh, linear regression model. So it does analyze data uh, between the budget of marketing campaigns and revenue generated. First of all, we have values. Some of budget brand marketing in which we have the campaign owner $800 for this, $250 for this. Then we have campaign type. Okay, straight away we jump into the campaign type. We have customer experience digital marketing, sum of revenue, brand marketing, customer experience, digital marketing, uh, total sum of budget. And in that, we have brand total up to 77,453. And the budget is going to be 18,135. Okay. So yeah, just like that, you can go ahead and create a linear regression model that you can do statistical modeling now uh, with the help of Copilot Pro in Excel. Okay. All right. So for the second example, so let's just say if you want to uh, go ahead and do forecasting and prediction with your data in Microsoft Excel. So you can simply go ahead and do that very easily. So let's just say if I take the same exact data and I go ahead and type in my prompt like, Create a time series forecasting model. So I'm going to create a time series forecasting model to predict future revenue for digital marketing campaigns. Okay, so we want to create a kind of a prediction for this data. So for digital marketing campaigns, use the historical data of digital marketing campaign focusing on variables like launch date and budget. Okay, so it's very obvious. We want to uh, like predict about this data. So let's just say whether it will provide us with that or not. All right. So here you go. So now we have revenue budget by launch date compared for digital marketing. So now let's just go ahead and add this to sheet to view it more uh, like accurately. So over here, we have the launch date. So then we have values, sum of revenue only my Yakuba campaign owner is going to be this sum of budget total sum of revenue and total sum of budget okay so it's basically you know going ahead and predicting future revenue for digital marketing campaigns of these as you guys can see uh then you have the total revenue is going to be this and sum of budget is going to be this okay so if you are into forecasting and prediction uh you can go ahead and create models you can go ahead and create predictions out of microsoft excel like without any problem okay all right so number three let's just say if you want to create uh pivot tables okay so pivot tables i already showed you an example if you want to create some advanced pivot tables you can totally do that now with microsoft excel so let's just say i select my data again and i type in my prompt like generate a pivot table to summarize the marketing campaign data Include campaign type as the road label, campaign owner as the column label, and use the average revenue and average number of engaged users as values. Okay, so let's just go ahead and hit um, enter to see the output for that. Okay, so it's providing a pivot table revenue and engaged users by campaign owner and campaign type. Okay. Let's just add to this to the sheet and view it more accurately. All right, so here we go. Now we have, uh, you know, the campaign types as brand marketing, customer experience, and digital marketing. So we have three campaigns in our data. And then we do have a column for uh, average revenue and average number of engaged user, as we told in our problem. So this is how you can go ahead and create pivot tables, like just the way you like. You can edit those pivot tables. You can customize them as per you need with the help of Copilot Pro in Microsoft Excel, all right? All right, so now for the last example, let's just say if you are into model uh, historic stock trends. So yeah, you can totally do that now with the help of Copilot Pro. So let's just say I take this data and I provide it from like, considering the data set as a proxy for company performance, create a hypothetical stock price trend model, use the overall revenue and engagement from the marketing campaigns and indicators of the company, okay? So let's just go ahead and hit enter uh, to see what kind of output, like what kind of historic uh, stock trend is going to provide me. All right. So here we go, guys. So we have now a uh, historic stock uh, trend model. So for campaign type customers to engage user decreases over time. So, so, you know, basically analyzing the whole data and showing us like the engaged users are decreasing over time. Okay. So this is how you can go ahead and create model like historic stock trend model out of your data now with the help of Copilot Pro in Microsoft Excel, okay? So there you have it, guys. This was the exploration of using Microsoft Copilot Pro in Microsoft Excel. So, yeah, guys, I hope you liked this video, and I'll see you in some other one. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.